Welcome everybody to Sheboygan Lutheran High School tonight. Lutheran hosts Oostburg in a CLC game. My name is Chris Wright and joining me is Brad Bolko. Mike Martin's gone tonight. He's helping out the Sheboygan A's uh, in a fundraiser. So Brad's here for the second time to step in. Tonight we got a team in Oostburg that's undefeated coming into a house that's just jam-packed. Uh, playing a Lutheran team that's 16 and 5 featuring Sam Decker. Let's talk a little bit about Oostburg. The place is packed and things like that. What is Oostburg playing for tonight? They're, they're undefeated and things. What, why, what are they playing for? Well, they're playing to get the rhythm and their mindset right for the upcoming playoffs. Um, a packed house is a good good atmosphere to get, get in that uh, playoff mode. Now, Sheboygan Lutheran, they uh, lost big time last time to Oostburg down at their place, but Sam Decker, a very important player, obviously was sick and things like that. What's Lutheran playing for? A Lutheran, same thing, to get, get ready for the for the playoffs coming up for the tournament. Uh, Sam to get his rhythm right and to get his scoring going, as well as his teammates to get involved and help him out in a tough environment. Well, now, Oostberg, what do you do if you have to stop a player like Sam Decker? Uh, team defense. you got your best defender on him and then everybody else helping out, helping out off the ball. Now, on the other side, last week, Sheboygan Lutheran lost the game to Ozaki. Sam Decker got his points, but it seemed like the rest of the Lutheran players just didn't get the points that they needed to help them get over that hump. You know, Sam's going to have to distribute the ball, or what, what are they going to have to do to get themselves into rhythm, not only for tonight, but for the uh, tournament? Well, I would say a little bit of both. You know, Sam has to get his points and get his rhythm going, and, you know, being the being their, their go-to player, but, the you know, his teammates also have to step up. That's are going to be very important in the tournament, so it's a little bit of both. All right, well, tonight we got a very close game tonight. It's going to be packed house. I mean, you should see the cars are parked for miles here. It's just a big game. Uh, when we return, we'll have the starting lined up. Almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. Call or visit us on the web now. Excuse me, Mr. Executive who studied trigonometry back in school and now sits in a huge office and drives a finely tuned luxury car. Yes, Mr. Only learned basic math, so still have an entry-level job and have to live with your mother. Uh, if you need me this weekend, I'll be here filling out your expense reports and timesheets because that's really the only kind of math I can handle. Great. Simple addition and subtraction sound right up your alley. Have a great weekend in the country, sir. Welcome back. Oostberg was just introduced. Now we'll have the starting lineup for Sheboygan Lutheran. Number 23 is Jack Zach Genzema. Genzema averaging eight points a game. He is a senior. Number 21 is Jacob Wheeler. He's averaging 8.3. Wheeler's also a senior. A senior standing six two, number five. Number Dane five Dane is also a senior. That's Dane Pulse. His brother Taylor played here a few years back. A five eleven senior, number three. The uh, four senior, Nicholson. Zach Nicholson. He's averaging six points a game and rounding and out the starting one, five six, seven, is nine, number one, seven, Sam Decker, Decker. Number two in the state in scoring at 29.5 points a game. Lutheran, of course, is coached by Todd Decker. Oostberg is coached by Kevin Bruning. It's his 13th year. And I believe Decker, this could be his 14th, excuse me, 16th year. Boy, and Lutheran comes in 16 and 5, 13 and 4 in the league. They're fighting for second with Ozaki. Oostberg 21 and 0, 17 and 0 in conference.
a little delay. There's, There's a couple of young fans down there that want to sit at the end of the bench, so they're going to try to get some chairs. And I think those, those are managers. <laughs> junior managers. Very junior managers. Place is full tonight, Brad. Oh, tap. There you go. Whisper gets the tap. Hubert C. Oh. Number five, Brad Princeton. Number two, Alex Stecker. He runs the show. Does a very nice job of handling the rock. He's just a 5'7 junior. That's Hubert C. Number 10. Looks like Keller walked with the ball. That's Mike Keller. Shot by Princeton is missed. And Lutheran out on the break. There's a three-point attempt there by Nicholson, and it's good for Lutheran. Oh, carry. And a turnover and there for Oosberg. Probably going to be a little nervous good. to start with tonight, yeah. huh, Brad? Yeah, with big, big crowd at, on the road. Like we said in the opening, it's a good, good tune-up for the tournament. Zach Nicholson there, he's number three. Wheeler, 21. That's Polk, number five. He can hit the three. I'll tell you, one thing that Oosberg does do is play great D. Yeah. But bang goal Another for Wheeler. Well, there's your answer for the uh, supporting cast for Lutheran coming out hot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Probably going to get the foul on Humercy there. His first. The nine decker, the... Uh, that would have been the big finish. Yep. Uh, I think would've, it would have brought the house down. Yep. I was just talking to somebody before. Uh, when Lutheran went over to Ozaki, Ozaki's fans didn't say a word in the student section until they got to 10. And then they went bonkers. Uh. <laughs> and the Lutheran kids didn't know what hit them. <laughs> Decker hits the first and a quick 7-0 lead in the first 70 seconds here. And the second, 8-0. Hubert C for three, it's off the mark. Nicholson to Decker. Decker being guarded by Mark Keller. Right to the rack and in. That's how he started against Sheboygan. Another carry. And Stecker again. That's how Decker started a couple weeks ago against Christian. Got, got his rhythm going with slashing to the basket and opened up his outside shooting for the second half. Five. And timeout. Well, good defense there by Oza or, excuse me, Oosberg to force that timeout. And also, just like that, the place is quiet. Yeah. But 10 to nothing in a minute, 35. Which is just a 30 second timeout. You know, Oosberg, I'm watching their bench here. They're very calm. You know, let them play through it a little bit, Brad. Yep. Seeding's out already. Both teams already got their number one seeds. Oosberg ranked number two. In Division 4, Sheboygan Lutheran ranked number 9 in Division 5. We'll talk about the tournament as the game goes on. Oh, there's a foul on Tyler Hartman, the sophomore, over the back of Jacob Wheeler. It's a second team foul. Man-to-man -man full court press there. Yeah, and Oosberg plays such good D, uh, Brad. And they are just up in ya. Yep. See, and the pressure, right? Something simple as that causes little things yep. like that. But they get it Try across that. the uh, half court line and they get it over to Decker. Try to disrupt that early rhythm that Lutheran's got going. Wheeler looking over to Coach Decker for some sign of signature. Sign play here and it oh, that's a steal. Good pick by Mike Keller to the rack and good. Well, we knew oh, that uh, Oosberg was going to score sometime tonight. Oh, 
There's a basket for Zach Chenzema and a foul. Oh, a block there on Tyler Hartman. It's now 12 to two. Lil Long on the free throw. Right to the basket yeah. goes Mark Keller. It's short, and there's a rebound by Pols. Here nope, comes Pols. Over to Wheeler. Pols, lots of pressure on him. Brad Princeton all over him. Look at that good defense. Good double team there by Keller. How Lutheran handles the press, sure, another, which he can't. And I almost got the steal, Brad. That's right. There you can see us right down there. You can see me waving. I think you would have put it down on the uh, breakaway. <laughs> I'm Chris Wright. Joining me tonight is Brad Balcom, Mike Martin at a fundraiser for the Sheboygan A's tonight. We're happy to have Brad here. A lean in by Princeton there. And Jensen, I believe. Yeah, they got... Jensenba, that's just his first foul. First foul on Luther, and it's 12 to 2, 5 10 here in a very full packed house of uh, Luther and Oosberg people. Oosberg always travels well, though, Brad. One out of two trip. It's a 12 to three. Oh, and Decker turns turn it over. over. Hartman back over to uh, Keller. Good ball That's movement, nice, nice, back yeah. to Keller. Good back to tap to Stecker. That's Brad Princeton, number five. Missed, and we're going to get a follow on Alex Stecker. You know, Brad, you mentioned something in the opening. This is a great tune-up for the tournament. You know, most likely their first-round teams are not going to be as strong. So this, you know, playing a game like this and then probably playing not a good good team, you know, it's really yep. a good, good thing to have. Yep, you know what? Both with an easy Oops. chance. Oh, but he mislaid it. Too probably should have stopped and then put it back in. But Boosberg's back down the other way. There's Mark Keller. Take it all the way in. Passes it to Mike Keller, but I think we're going to get a foul here on Jacob Wheeler. No, excuse me. We're going to get Jensema, and that's going to be his second. Jensema is the second leading scorer on Lutheran. Into the lineup is Jesse Verveldi. And out comes Hartman. It's the second foul on Lutheran. 4.30 left. Mark Keller over to his brother, Mike Keller, who shoots, and it goes in. Eastburg's got some good ball movement. They just gotta get some shots to start dropping. I like that one. How many? A charge. Well, I was thinking charge or a walk, but unfortunately they got the uh, foul on Wheeler there. They'll still call it a turnover. Third foul on Lutheran, first on Wheeler. 12 to five. It's been a very exciting up and down start to this basketball game. Lutheran's, well, but they're in the zone there for a minute, I guess not. Well, good take there by Keller, but he got it over Decker, but he couldn't put it in. Lutheran back with it. Well, now that time Sam didn't set his feet, but yeah. a nice offensive rebound by Josh Wheeler. Steck, Stecker all over the uh, Lutheran player there, but you saw Decker get the rebound and put it back in. Well, Keller with the foul, there you go. Yeah, and up and down we go.
post, number five, looking to get into the post to Decker, but good pressure there, ball pressure by uh, Princeton, and another Pass. Lutheran turnover. Pass at the feet from the pressure. How you handle the pressure, Brad? How you handle the pressure? Yeah, it looks like they're they're a little rushed. The perimeter players for Lutheran are kind of kind of uh, rushing themselves and not not taking care of the ball, making good passes. Well, on the other hand, Lock. Princeton goes Decker in there, but a second opportunity for Mike Keller, and it's now 14 to nine. It was 12 to two, 10 to nothing, but just like that. Oh, layup. The Bervaldi. A miss, yeah, for Jesse Bervaldi. Three chances. Up. It's the third. And it falls. Looks like the momentum has definitely swung. You know, and again, we talked about the beginning. You watch the, the Oostberg bench, real calm, down 10 to nothing. Nobody panicked, no timeouts. Just kind of yep. played through it. And uh, defensively, they've got themselves back in this ball game. Can't convert the three-point play. Uh, Oostberg just one of three from the free throw line so far. Nicholson there, going right to the basket, but look at that quick defense by Oostberg on the recovery. Post, going right to the basket, it gets blocked, and they're saying it's gonna be off of Oostberg, and Luton will keep it underneath. Might have to put Decker down low in the post to maybe get a few uh, post shots to have him back off the pressure a little bit from the perimeter. Decker trying to go through three people. They travel. They call the walk. I don't know about yeah, that. I don't know. I wasn't watching his feet, so I'm watching the replay here. Yeah, no I don't think way. So. That was a bad call. 14-11 at the two minute mark of the first quarter. Princeton again driving. And now they're gonna call Oostberg on the travel and there's your makeup call. I was call. gonna say, was that actually a travel or was that the old fashioned makeup? And now Coach Brunig wants to know what happened. Here you'll see it. Oh, that's just a bad call. I think Good I, pivot foot. I think Coach Decker should argue on that side and Coach <laughs> There you're gonna get a foul. Nicholson got the breakaway. Mike Keller with the foul. That's his first. And uh, Lutheran's been stuck on 14 for a while. It was 10 to nothing, 12 to two. That was 14 to five. And finally, Nicholson gets one to fall. And he gets them both. Now they got their zone, it looks like. Yeah. Um, miss there by Vervelde, I believe. Pulse. Over to Nicholson. That's Pulse again, number five. Decker driving. Yeah, Looks like he's you know, definitely trying to get into the basket. Maybe it'd be best to go down the post and try to get an entry pass instead of dribbling through the defender and all the help. Alex Stecker, number two. Oop. Good swing pass to the corner. I don't think that was a swing pass. That was your classic uh, cross-court pass. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's good ball reversal. <laughs> I always like that skip pass you know, against the, uh, you know, everyone overplays, the back screen guys. Yep. They're going to get Princeton there on the offensive foul on the push off there. Now Decker's got it on Stecker. He's going to go right to that guy. The 5-7 on the 6-7. Out to Nicholson, back to Pole. Pole shoots, doesn't go. Okay. Offensive rebound for Wheeler, and another Lutheran turnover. 
Another rush pass. Yep, Nimmer trying to get it to uh, Decker there. 52 seconds left in the first quarter, 16 to 11. Stecker, number two. Trying to look inside. There it is. Yep, gets it in to Keller, gets real close. That's too far new. underneath, and Wheeler follows him, and the basket goes, and another three-point opportunity for Usberg. Well, yeah, it's a nice move to square up and take the one strong dribble to the left and finish. Coming in is Tyler Hosenstein. 18 seconds left. Coach Decker trying to get a couple guys a couple extra seconds yep. of rest before the uh, quarter ends. And another missed free throw. One of four tonight. We're down to 14 seconds. I don't think Decker's going to give it up here. No. Nine, eight, six, five. From way downtown, no. Good hustle by Nimmer. It's not going to go. At the end of one quarter of play, it's Sheboygan Lutheran 16, Oostburg 13. My cell phone number and John's cell phone number. Hey, pretty. And um, number of the restaurant where we're going to be. And oh, I've um, left you my pager number too, just in case, because you never know. Um, John, you have the gift? The odds of a babysitter calling 911? One in 1,400. So should happen, please don't hesitate. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to autismspeaks.org. Okay, this time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually go to school. Tell me about some of the stuff you've had to deal with. I just dropped out completely. I just got caught up in it, the whole scene with the alcohol and the drugs. I was arrested. A lot of my friends, they were really concerned, especially my friend Aaron. You just have to find someone. They don't have to tell you advice. They don't have to do that. They just listen. Give Frankie and our class of 08 the boost they need to graduate. Join us at boostup.org. There we are, Brad. Eric getting good shot there. Scott Miloff is in the truck tonight. Not too cold out there, 33 degrees or so. But it's hot in here. Very. And another Lutheran turnover. Just a difficult time handling the pressure. Yep. 16 to 13 at the 739 mark of the first half. Oosbergs clawed themselves back in here. And whoop, a rare a turnover for over. them as uh, Princeton wasn't ready for the pass there. Pulse, 21 is Jacob Wheeler, back to Decker. Been covered all night by number 23, yeah. Mark Keller, 6'5", senior. He and his brother, Mike. There's Decker from way downtown looking for a bank, but he misses it. Polk with a second opportunity. His shot goes up. It's blocked. Yeah, jump ball here. Jump ball. Oh. I thought that it was blocked. It went off Polk's leg, to be honest with you. <laughs> They're talking. Yeah, Mark Keller said, you know, uh, I don't know about that. Of course, their dad, Craig Keller, and uh, 
Brad Knight will play with him. Here's a steal by Lutheran. Pulse with a layup and good. Pulse first points of the night. Makes it 18 to uh, 18 to 13. There's Stecker. Hubert C gets in there. Blocked by Decker. Princeton goes in there. Gets blocked by Decker. And out with it comes Jacob Wheeler and the Crusaders. So Nicholson too doing a lot dribbling. of dribbling and too not going dribbling. anywhere. And he turns it over. Princeton picks it up. Stecker, who hasn't even had a chance at a three yet. He gets to the basket. And oh. it misses. Rebound by Jensema. Trying to get it down the post was Wheeler. And again, another Pittsburgh, Lutheran turnover. Yep, Here comes Keller. Princeton jumps right into uh, Wheeler and gets the foul. Is that offensive? Oh, they do call yeah. it. You're right, Brad. Well, I, know. I, I saw the reaction on, uh, on, uh, what was it? on, on Princeton for uh, Oosberg. He didn't look happy. He's still not happy. That, no. And that's two fouls he's that, got, and both are offensive. Here you'll see the replay. He just kind of jumps into, oh, they just almost never call that. Yeah. That would have been better to just leave it alone. And another Lutheran turnover. You know, and the thing is, they always look to the side. You know what? Take care of the ball, boys. That's what Coach Decker's saying. Don't look at me. It's a hot potato. They're trying to get rid of it. Now they're doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> I think Stecker can really get to the basket on Lutheran. Here's Keller. Mark Keller. Nice pass. Backdoor cut. Boom. Two points for Mark Keller. Mark Practice that one in the driveway. And on the other end comes Lutheran. Gentleman scores. 20 to 15. Gentleman with his see, fourth point. Yeah, I see Coach Decker put him back in with the two two fouls in the first half yet. So just wanted the offensive help. Oh, in tight there was Mike Keller. Keller leads all scores. He's got 10. Well, that's wrong. I'm not. He's got two, three. Decker for three. Can't find the mark yet. But you know what? You got to keep shooting. Yep. Rebound to Stecker. Back to Keller. He can't put it in. Genzimo with another rebound. He's got a boatload. Looks a little tired, though. Holtz. Closely guarded by Jesse Vervaldi. Pulse gets in there tight, oh, and now uh, he's going to get called for a charge. Yeah. Let's see Keller had his feet planted and waiting for that one. Josiah Vervaldi comes in. He's the 6'7 uh, sophomore. Pulse with his first foul. That's team foul number six for Lutheran. Seven on Oosberg. 422 mark. Nick Redeker in the lineup. Coming in for Jensema, who really earned his oats out there, getting a bunch of rebounds. Stecker on the drive. Kicks it out over to Jesse Vervaldi. Stecker thinks otherwise of shooting. Hartman to the to the Basket. Keller trying to squeeze in there. Does. Back tip by Keller. Good work by Keller. And he gets rewarded with a basket. That's good hustle. Nice and strong. We had a block. Verveldi. That's your leading scorer tonight. Mike Keller. Not Mark Keller. I was going to tell you before that Mark Keller was your leading scorer, but it's Mike Keller. Either way, he has 10 points. M. Keller. <laughs> Nick Hubert coming back in the lineup. Brent Wilterdink. Very senior lead laden squad is Oosberg. I remember seeing him as 
uh, freshmen play in the uh, Raiders shootout in the JV tournament, and I knew these guys were going to be good. Two free throws for Decker. Gives him eight on the night. A three for Hubertsy. Yeah, Hubertsy comes right back with a three. Missed shot for Lutheran. Here comes Stecker. Comes another one. He's feeling it. Good rebounding position there by Nick Redeker. Decker to the basket, bumped a little bit, no call. Hubert C with the rebound. We're tied at 22. Oosberg with a chance to get their first lead. We're gonna call this on the ground. And Verveldi's gonna have to earn it at the strike. Coach Brunig was going to send in two Kellers, but he decided to send one in at a time. Pacing. Or maybe he didn't want to confuse you. That's probably, <laughs> probably the better of the ideas. Valdi made the first one. Missed the second one, but he does give them their first lead of the night, 23 to 22. 10 to nothing start for Lutheran, but uh, Oosberg crawled their way back, and at the three minute mark, they, they finally got the lead. Nicholson on the drive, shoots, misses, Rivaldi on the rebound, gets it to Stecker. Bounce pass, good ball movement by Oosberg, swinging it, Rivaldi trying to get the screen to Hubertsy. Rivaldi was gonna shoot, thinks otherwise. Stecker driving on Nicholson. Stecker gets himself good. deep. Good swing pass out to Brevaldi. No. Nope. Rebound for Decker. 209 in the first half. One point lead for Oosberg. That's Decker from way down there. He misses. Nicholson with the rebound. Kicks it out for a three for Wheeler. He can't get it. Another reload for Lutheran. How about a third chance? No. No, 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 no. Nope. Nimmer couldn't get it. Three threes. All missed by Lutheran. You gotta like the attempts, they're just yep. not going in. Gonna All get right, a foul Decker. on Lutheran. Nope. Well, that's three. That's I three think they're gonna get Jensema on there, and that's gonna be his third foul. And uh, Pulse comes in for Jensema, in for Oosberg. Jesse Vervaldi. Mike Keller is going to come in here in a second. And a one out of two trip. But the only thing they're not doing very well is uh, shooting free throws. They're one, two, three. For about seven. Three for eight. 24, 22. Decker with the ball, he's got eight points. Good defense there by Mark Keller. Pulse gets it over to uh, Carl Nimmer. Decker trying to find some room, trying to use that offhand. They got a hold on Verveldi. Sam's got to watch out. He kind of tries to create, push away, yep. and create space, but uh, they've been in his grill all night. 
Yeah, very good ball pressure. Not giving them much room. I don't know what you think with the between the leg dribble. Sometimes that's not the quickest and most efficient. Oh, I use it all the time. What? Well, I know that. But uh, it goes I'm well not quick. It goes well. More efficient. The, it goes well with the no look behind the back <laughs> pass. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. You're saying you, if you're going to use that between the leg dribble, you use that to, to cross over to get to a place to, and yeah. then attack the basket. Just doing it out in nowhere to create no space or anything like that's not going to get it done. I always like to use it you know, between your legs and then you're going to go left or you're going to go right. Mm -hmm. But if you're just doing it at the top, it's not getting anything done. Uh, Decker with a one out of two trip. Makes it 24 to 23. Oh. And Oosberg throws it away. Keller and had him sealed for the drop step, but I think uh, uh, tripped over the yeah. the paint on the box down there, maybe. <laughs> or it could have been a foot in the way. Yeah, a foot. One minute left in the first half, 24-23. Decker with a swing. Someone's got to help and make one. Yes. And finally, Another Josh three. Wheeler gets one down. That might be big if they can still carry the lead into halftime. It'll be a... Momentum lifter. 26 24, 40 seconds left. There's that between the legs dribble again. Yeah. Stecker goes, kicks it back out to Vervaldi for three. Ooh, it looked right on target. Good play by Stecker to keep it alive. Vervaldi nice walked. Travel, uh, yep. He walked. Back in my day, that between the legs dribble was showboating, and you get uh, yelled at for that kind of oh. stuff. Now, now it's just normal. <laughs> 30 seconds left here. The last thing Luton wants to do is turn it over here. They would like to keep it for one last possession and shot. Decker has nine and a half. Traveled and picked up his foot. And again, looking to the bench. You know, sometimes that just doesn't solve the problem. Can they get Hubertsy in? Hubertsy, a very good shooter. They like to get him off the uh, double screen at the top, Brad. Watch for him to, to run something, maybe get a double pick or screen so he can right at the top of the, uh, the uh, circles there shoot a three-pointer. 12 seconds. Nine, eight. Oops. I think they had it, but the Alex, pass was a little yeah, high. Alex would like that one back, that's for sure. Six seconds left. Nicholson to Decker from about half court. And that ends the half. 26-24, Lutheran. Personal foul? Inactive activities on a glorious day. Huh? Let's get out there and play! Sweet. Ooh, freeze! When do I get to be in? Uh-oh. Hey, Reggie, frozen people can't talk. P-L-A-Y! An hour a day. I'm it. There are lots of great play ideas online, but don't stay too long. Introducing the all-new Enclave. It's a minivan to the max, with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org.
Welcome back here. There you see the Lutheran band. 26 to 24, Lutheran lead. Let's uh, look at the uh, halftime scoring a little bit. For Wolfsburg, uh, they were led by Mike Keller. He had 12. Number 23, Mark Keller had four. Jesse Verveldi, he had two. Brent Wilcherdink had one. Josiah Verveldi had one. Brad Princeton had one and 10 for Nicholas, excuse me, three for Nicholas Hubertsy. William Lutheran was led by Sam Decker, he had nine. Zach Jensma, he had four. Jacob Wheeler, he had three. Wheeler, Josh Wheeler, that is, had th uh, four. Zach Nicholson had five, and Dane Polk added two. Thoughts about the first half, Brad? Um, good composure by Oosberg to, to weather the big storm at the beginning and slowly work their way back. Uh, I guess I have to wait and see if Lutheran came up with a better, better strategy at halftime to, to deal with the pressure. Just joining me, joining us, I'm Chris Wright. Mike Martin's gone tonight. I'm joined by Brad Bulko. Uh, Brad played on the uh, 93 Sheboygan North State runner-up team. Glad that he could join us. Lutheran started off real fast. They're up 10 to nothing and 14 to five, but uh, Oostberg actually crawled back to have the lead, 23 to 22. But as we uh, enter the second half, Lutheran's got the lead back, 24-23. And there was a shot by Jacob Wheeler, and it does not fall. That was better. They had better ball movement, but yep. uh, Oostberg didn't really have as much pressure there on that, on that possession. Well, Mark Keller took it to the basket, and it got deflected, and uh, they say it went off Mark, and uh, he didn't say anything, so uh, maybe it did. You know what I like about Oostberg is they just play. They don't yep. uh, talk to the officials. They just are after you. They never complain. Yep. I remember right. watching the Oostberg girls program. They did the same thing. Uh, they'd all look real pretty and real nice and things like that. And then they come out there and just whoop you. <laughs> I just remember watching uh, some of their teams over the years. Keller keeps it alive. Keller gets it back and he goes, goes to the right basket. Oh. That's a nice move there by Good Keller, ball. but it doesn't fall. Pulse against Princeton. Wheeler, no. And I'll tell you, Lutheran isn't shooting well, and they're not taking care of the ball well. And uh, turnover. Not, not a good combination. New Mark Keller with a turnover. Here's Decker on him. He's getting bumped all the way up there. Decker with a rare miss. He hits one of two. 27-24, 6-24. And Keller has got 12 points, misses an easy one there. And here comes Lutheran. And finally! Dial up three for Decker. 30 to 24, and just like that, he's up to 13 points. Yeah, see if he can keep the touch going. Get a foul here on Pulse. First team foul on Lutheran. His second foul. Keller with an easy one. Yeah, he's good at catching that ball strong right in the lane and well, he's tall and lanky. Efficiently going up and not not wasting any any moves or dribbles. Yeah, both Keller boys are very athletic, very wire wirely, but uh, jump. Right. I think they're going to get 
Princeton on the reach there, and for him, that's his third, and he's had a tough night with the fouls tonight. That's for sure. Just like that, Kevin Bruning gets Jesse Vervelde back in. Jesse had a nice first mm -hmm. half. It's like Jensima came back in for Lutheran. He's got three fouls as well, so I'll have to see, see how long he's able to go. Holt. Oh, good idea. Jensima tried to get it to Decker. Well, here's Stecker on a breakout. Nice, nice use of his body to block the defender there. Well, Post Make either had, well, I was going to say, either Post's going to have to let him go or follow him hard, and he does that, and it doesn't go in. Stecker will get a chance with a couple free throws here, Brad. Yeah, his body right, in, right between him and the ball to get up. Yeah, and keep the ball on the right side for young players out there. Sometimes they, you know, either swing it or go to the left there. He used his body well, and... Uh, Got that one to go. That's what you learn when you're five foot seven playing with all these big guys out there. <laughs> Pulse comes out of the game. He has three fouls now. And Stecker hits them both. 30 to 28 now, 518 left. Full court pressure all night. Lutheran has really not done a great job of breaking it. And Decker gets stuffed. And he got he hit got below the belt. And Keller's going right to the basket. Swings it out. Now it goes to the top with Stecker. Keller. Valdi, that's Stecker. Good help D by Wheeler that was. Tipped away and out of bounds, and it'll stay with Usberg. I'm impressed with Usberg too that they've been pressing and the pressure defense and strong in offense, and they don't even really look winded. Lutheran looks a little. They're grabbing their shorts and bending yep. over a little bit on the. Yep. On the timeouts and held balls and things like that, but. Well, they exert so much. Oh, nice backdoor cut there, nice Keller to Keller, and we're tied. going to say Lutheran exerts so much energy breaking the press mm -hmm. and uh, you know that takes a lot out of you in a ball game just wearing them down as they say reach. I think they're going to get that foul on Jesse Vervelde no Hubert see I'm sorry his second third on Usberg Sixteen points now for Mike Keller. Gonna get a foul there on Josh Wheeler, stepping out on that screen, Brad. Yeah. Thirty to thirty. Mark Keller a little long with the three. Two Lutheran yeah, guys with the rebound. Could have been a travel. Yep, Nicholson takes it away. Decker from way out there. It's no good. Swinging it back to Keller. To the rack and good for Mark Keller. And Usberg takes the lead again. And a good timeout by Coach Decker. Nice left hand on that, that move. Well, it's going to be a full timeout, so we're going to take a break. It's 32-30, Hoosberg. Everyone has friends. There's online friends. Friends to go out with on a Saturday night. Friends to hang out with and do nothing. Friends who show up on moving day. And then there are the friends who will be there if someone is dealing with a mental illness. Are you one of those friends? The opportunity. A 
Jeff throwing it out there. I, I don't remember the Beatles. <laughs> I wonder if her mom <laughs> was around when the Beatles were there. I don't know about that either. 8-0 run for Oostberg to take a 32-30 lead with 3.36 left. Lutheran has the ball underneath. Good time out there by Coach Decker. Oh. oh! There you go. Foul and the basket. Count the flush. Oh, get the crowd back, back into the game here. See if they can carry the momentum. See across the way, we got uh, Coach Desitel and Kurt Davis there in the house. Here you see the long pass. And the flush. And a three-point play made to give Lutheran the lead back. 16 points now for Decker. Keller driving. Over to yeah. Keller for three. three. Keller for 35-33. Lot of contact. No fouls called. Well, Mark Keller has point number seven, eight, and nine. Wheeler. That's Zach Nicholson, the senior. A lot of contact Hand out there. Check there, yeah. Decker deep. Gonna be short. Good position there by Mike Keller. And they're on the break. Right to the basket for Keller and good. Mike Keller and Mark Keller having a half. And here comes Lutheran on the Decker for two. Here we go. Side, oh, back again with Keller. Keller and Keller. Keller and Keller. I think that was M. Keller that uh, scored that one. Uh, that one we'll give to Mike. All right. Oh, here comes Decker again. And it counts and it's good. Wow. Some action uh, back and forth here all of a sudden. It's that well timed timeout by uh, Coach uh, Decker that's got him going again. Oh. Hoosberg leads by two, 224 mark. Now it looks like we've got everybody grabbing their shorts. <laughs> and Sam misses the free throw. Sam now has 20 points. 39-37. In tight there with Wilterdink, but he's just short. Good attempt there by Wilterdink. Here's Decker with Keller on him. Decker's the only Lutheran player to score here in the quarter, Brad. And three more. Well, if he keeps going like that, I <laughs> keep going to him. Travel on Stecker. 23 points now for Decker. 29 is his average. Lutheran grabs the lead back, 29-25. Sam looks a little tired, uh, Brad. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be a bad idea to give him a quick blow. Or just go to the basket and score two more. Yeah, I think they're gonna... <laughs> Let him keep going until he misses. 25 points now for Decker. Inside to Keller. He gets his own rebound. Between two Lutheran guys, no foul called. And out with it is Nimmer over to Decker. 115 left, 42-39 Lutheran. Double team there. Mike Keller now on a good swing pass. Nicholson. Sam Decker is deep. Not too deep for him, though. <laughs> nope. 
Gets it into Genzema, and he can't get it to go. Coach Decker wanted that one. Stecker on the breakout. Sam needs a blow. He is really tired. 45 seconds left in the quarter. 42-39. It's what's been a very exciting quarter. Yes, very good. Decker, Decker and uh, Keller. Kellers have scored along with just a two-point uh, basket by uh, Stecker. Rivaldi. Thirteen. Ten. Swings it out. Huberty. He can bang that home, and he does. Three, two, one. Well, that's about as good as you can do that for Oosberg, taking the <laughs> clock down to about five seconds and hitting the three. All tied, going to the fourth. As we start fourth quarter action, it's going to be 42-42. Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learningserve.gov to find out how. Oostburg section, 42-42. Uh, Brad, nobody's left the place. No, no. <laughs> and here comes Wait. Lutheran. Might have squeezed a few more in that finally made it from <laughs> their uh, parking spots. And Maybe. Bowler. Nice pass by Decker to Genzema. <laughs> and on the other end, Huberty oh, just banged one it. from there. That's four, I believe, on Genzema. Yep. That's on him. Princeton get on deep. Princeton, the second leading scorer during the year. He's at 11 a game. Mark Keller leads. Hoosberg at 13 a game. Hubert C at 9 6. Mark Keller at 8. And Stecker at 7.5. And, and a missed free throw there. They have not shot free throws well tonight. They're just three, excuse me, five of 11. But he, oh, I was gonna say he's gonna get that one, but he doesn't. Wheeler was wide open, he'd even shoot. Mm -hmm. Brad, you and I would have shot that. Keller playing a good oh, D, Decker trying to bit. squeeze yep. it, yep. Now we're gonna get a foul on Polth, and that's gonna be his fourth. fourth of him too. Forty-four, forty-two, seven, ten remaining in quarter number four, which has been a very exciting game. You got to call the travel. You know, I don't think he was going to call it till the uh, fans called that one. Yeah. Not saying he didn't travel. Oh, Decker missed that one. Inside is Huberty. Oh, he missed an easy layup. He'd like to have that one back. Break for Lutheran there. Up by two and the ball. Wheeler going to the basket. No. 
Which way are you going to call this foul? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Two guys going for the ball and a uh, little shoving going on. And uh, they're going to call that one on. They are going to call it on Usberg. Okay. Watch how he kind of cleared I was going to say, out. he was the one that pushed him back. I would say it would have been a... I would have said it was a no call, but if it's a call on anybody, it would have to be on Usberg. Uh, Keller, yeah. yeah. That's a tough call for him, though, but I would have let that one go. Both two guys fighting for the ball. Lutheran keeps it. Skip pass over to Nicholson. He hasn't hit one since way early. Pull through the rebound. No. And now, I believe yes. if that's on Pulse, that's going to be his fifth. And not only will that be his fifth, that'll put Usberg at the line in a bonus. You think these officials, well, uh, when they got their contracts, well, knew what today's game was going to be all about? <laughs> no. Do they know anything about the Oostburg Nation? And uh, every uh, Lutheran uh, basketball star fan is here. One thing is, like I said, the uh, North and South aren't playing. The girls aren't playing. So if yep. you like basketball, you're in the house tonight. And I look around, and there's people that you know go to North games, South games, Christian games, boys, girls. The house is full, and the kids are putting on a good show. Definitely. If you're a basketball fan, this is the best time of year. High school, college. I suppose the NBA got another two months before you have to watch that. Uh, about three months. <laughs> June. <laughs> travel. Been a traveling call on Keller, and they've called a lot of those tonight. Oostberg undefeated at 21-0. Lutheran comes in at 16 and 5. Oostberg's already clinched the conference. Lutheran trying to end up in a tie for second with Ozaki. 6 12 remaining. That's Jacob Wheeler, the senior with the ball. Good job by Nicholson to get the ball. He puts it up, but it's going to be short. And there's a rebound there by Jesse Vervaldi. Both teams now in the bonus. And there's a foul there by Decker. You know, I might give Sam like 30 second blow here. You know, let him sit during these free throws. They're gonna bring Jensema back in. He's got four fouls. Yeah. Comes back in for uh, Tyler Hosenstein. Yeah, either give him a blow or just start use your full timeouts to rest him every two minutes and save your 30 seconds for at the end if you need to stop the clock or set something up. Keller hits the first. His 19th point on the night. Make it 20 for him as well. We're all tied at 44. Decker applying the pressure there on Nicholson. Decker gets double teamed by the Keller. Finds Jensema, but he Ooh, can't finish. Richard. And you got to finish, son. He almost got a foul, too, on uh, reaching yep. back on the rebound. That's what we were saying at the beginning, Brad. You're going to have to get contributions. And that one, Jensema's got to yep. finish. Hubertsy going right at Decker, and he draws the foul. Second foul on Decker, and second one in about a minute. Well. Chris Wright along with Brad Balco. WSCS. Hopefully, we'll have some playoff action. If we do, we'll have it in the paper for you. A lot of teams that uh, see it very well. Lutheran gets a bye. Then they'll... Oostburg gets a bye. North gets a bye. Decker right to the basket on Keller. 
Yeah, Kellerman uh, bailed them out a little bit there by. Well, I think there's a little contact, but kind of let them go. I don't think he would have had too too good of a look. Decker hits the first free throw. Hits them both. Ooh, nice. In the Keller for two more. Too easy. Now, Oostberg, after the turnover, has the ball and the lead. 47 to 46, we're at the five minute mark. Jenzema out again. Keller again. That timeout for Lutheran. Full timeout. Yeah, with Coming that timeout. The rest time. Yeah, with that timeout, we'll take a quick break. 49 46, Oostberg. Jimmy, Jimmy, dear. Don't forget my dress for the fashion show. We want Moi to look my best now. Jenny, Jenny, we started our book report. Here's the cover. Yeah, now what we need is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Jenny, 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 Jenny dear. Hi, honey. Are you feeling blue? What's wrong with being blue? Well, where should I start? <laughs> if you're a teen dealing with stress, there's help. Visit the Will Rogers Institute website for a free booklet about teen stress and how you can de-stress your life. Right. Hey. Welcome back to Lutheran High School where Oostberg has taken a three-point lead. Big miss by Jensema before, Brad. Yep. You don't want to point at one thing, but when you get him underneath there and close games like this, you got to just finish. Well, I think the next minute or two are, is going to be very important here. Either uh, Lutheran's going to make a few baskets and stay in the game and keep it close. Otherwise, you know, if Oostberg gets a few more here, it might... Uh, might turn in their favor for the rest of the game. Well, another thing is Oostberg, you know, they get the ball back. You know, Lutheran's going to have to foul and just start adding up. There's a turnover by Decker. Decker. And we're going to have a one on one, just as we said, a foul. Four twenty nine in the uh, left in the uh, ball game. Lutheran just has one basket here in the quarter. Sam Decker has a couple free throws. And Oostberg starting to make them free throws. Add two to the, uh, just like that, it's now 51 to 46. Entering the quarter was 44 to 42, Lutheran. Oostberg starting to wear down Lutheran and uh, pull away a little bit. It's go time for Lutheran and there's Decker, he's fouled on a three. And that's a mistake there, Mark Keller knows it. Never foul a jump shooter, Brad. I probably told you that when you played for me. Yes. Of course, oh, several times. Three. Of course, that was a long time ago. It wasn't a jump shot back then, it was just set shots. <laughs> Decker's going to get three chances here, and he makes number one. Needs all three of them. Set, set shots and underhand free throws, I think. <laughs> In the narrow lane. Yeah. 
Becker's hit all his free throws here in the quarter. Yep. And now he's up to 30 points and pulls Lutheran within two. 51 to 49. Backdoor cut for Stecker. Stecker with his sixth point of the game. That's Nichols, or excuse me, Wheeler. Wheeler for three. Oh, looked right on Mark. Good hustle by Gentema, but he can't get in. Here's Stecker, and uh, he can really control the basketball game. He's a very good point guard and leader yep. for the Flying Dutchman. Always under control. How good. about him? Good he body control with that shot and the one earlier where he got the foul. It's he scored the last six points for Roosburg. Decker, Ooh, there's a foul. Decker will, willing his team back into the game. Got some news for you here, Brad. Decker on the line, one and one. Yes. All the points for Lutheran. In the second half. Except for a basket. In the second half. <laughs> Rabbi Sam Decker. Four point lead for uh, Usberg. Good decision there by Vervaldi to kick it out. And uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to take the air out of the ball unless they come out, come out to get him. Dean Smith. Uh, I go guard him. Yeah. I'm down by four. I'm down by four, and they got the rock. Yep. Three minutes left. Lutheran is manning up, but not close not enough. Not enough. Yeah, not close enough. They're afraid to be uh, driven on. Jensema's got the uh, four fouls. That's too far away for Nicholson. Decker's right there. Good flop by uh, Stecker, but the officials are smart enough not to call it. Here you're going to oh, get one. one yeah. Wheeler with the foul, and that's foul number 10 on Lutheran. So that means two free throws for Alex Stecker. Stecker scored the last six points for Lutheran, including a couple free throws. Yep, that's that one. Got the second one to fall, it's now oh, 50, 651. Oh. Uh, And a bad turnover yeah. for Lutheran. Just a bad turnover. Lewisburg has the ball and the five point lead. Stecker's going right to the basket. Kicks it out to Keller. Very smart outfit this yep. Lewisburg group. Yep. They got the lead against North, held out, and got the victory. There you go get the ball. For Valdi, two minutes now. Lutheran is too far away. They're so afraid they're going to be driven on, but you know what? Yep. Usberg doesn't need to score, so you got to get up on them. Just wearing them down, wearing them down. Too far away, no double teams. Gotta stay up uh, on your man. Within three feet. Yeah. 136. At least 30 seconds run off by Usberg. And if I was the Usberg fans, I'd be on my feet. Yeah. Because these boys are doing a good job. Uh, they're working Keller. Hard. They're working harder on offense. Here they than come. Working on defense. Usberg Nation, the Red Nation's on their feet. You better follow, boys. You're down by five. It's the and Dutch Nation, I believe, not the Red Nation. Okay. 
<laughs> Keller's trap. Back to Keller. You know, and you work on this in practice, yep. Brad. And this is the kind of stuff, you know, how long can you keep the ball? And right now, it's over a minute and a half. You better foul. Way too long, I think, Brad. Way too long. Yep. Yeah, Oosberg definitely were, was more interested in working hard on offense to run the clock off than Lutheran was to get the ball back. Yeah. Take chances. And at this stage in the game, too, you can be as aggressive as you want getting the ball because either you get the ball or you get a follow, which stops the clock. Exactly. Might as well take chances. Get up in the passing lanes. Don't be afraid to double. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, Alex Stecker, kind of quiet all night. It's been the Keller boys. 24 points for Mike. And I believe 11 for Mark. And now it's a seven point deficit. When Stecker scored the last Nine points. That's off. Get it up right away. Somebody's got to hit one. Somebody's got to hit one. There it is. One, oh, we got four points. Nicholson. And Nicholson hits the three, but hopefully it's not too late. It's a full timeout. We're going to keep it here, Scott. Uh, Brad, Is go for the good. steal and fall right away. Yep. Go aggressively for the steal, and like I said, if you don't get the ball, then you got to foul. I just think that Lutheran took way too much time. You know, when I'm behind, I want to draw that game as out. I don't care if, possible, if yep. it takes a month. You know, <laughs> and right now what I'd be doing is putting in, you know, subs that can follow that have some fouls to give. Take Jensema back out, and then maybe put him back in later. But uh, I'd be aggressive here. Put in your designated followers. Right. 36.3 on the clock. Richard Bart's on the top camera. Eric Wiesman on the bottom camera. And Scott Miloff in the truck. It's our last regular season game. Hopefully we'll have some playoffs for you. This has been a doozy and a full house. Glad we can bring it to you on WSCS. And again, probably something that Usberg's worked on a hundred times, breaking the press, in the clutch, and getting the ball in bounds. Right away, right away. 33, 32, 31. All right, nobody around him, got it. Oh, geez, get the ball. Way too much time. 11 seconds went off the clock. And it's going to be two free throws for the senior, Mark Keller. Princeton and Rivaldi coming back in the game. And that's why you follow early. That's what they need. And that's why you follow early. You never know when they can miss any. For Lutheran here, and Coach Decker saying, we got to get the rebound first. Yep, if you trade one point for two points on the other end or three points on the other end, you need as many possessions as possible. One of two trip for Keller. 59, 54, Decker from deep, no. And the offensive rebound to who else? Alex Decker. No baskets in the fourth quarter for Sam Decker. Got some free throws earlier. He's got 32 points. This will just about ice it, and it does. 61-54, yeah. it's gonna be real difficult for Lutheran right now. Just shoot it, what are you waiting for? 
And gonna fall short, Stecker with the rebound. Foul by Lutheran. Foul. Foul. Well, Oostberg's gonna have an undefeated season. They're gonna go 22 and 0. They enter tournament play. They are in Division Four. They will be playing the winner of Cedar Grove and Reedsville. Oostberg's ranked number two in the state. They have a sectional against Laconia, and which is ranked number five, which is a very good squad, and Racine Lutheran, which is ranked number four. For Sheboygan Lutheran, they're gonna win play the winner of Christian and Oost Oakfield. Most likely then they'll play a uh, Houstonsburg squad and then comes the big test when they play number one ranked Randolph uh, which would be in a sectional semifinal and if they're lucky to win that they'll have to play number 10 ranked Barneville or Burlington Catholic Central who's been there before. But that's going to do it for us today. 63-54 uh, I'll tell you what, Brad, Oostberg just seemed to wear them down at yep. the end. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Well, they, yeah, they wore them down at the end, but they've been wearing them down all, all game. So that's, you know, finally caught up with Lutheran at the last few minutes there. Well, we asked for Lutheran. They're going to have to get some contribution in the second half. You got two baskets from other players other than the name of Decker. That didn't help either. Nope, nope, nope. They needed to keep that hot shooting that they had in the first few minutes to carry over a few few uh, more threes or twos in the second half to to lift the load. I think tonight too is a good test for uh, tournament play as well. Yes, yeah, they have very much tournament uh, atmosphere with the crowd and the two tough teams going at it and playing hard and so hopefully they'll prepare both both squads for their upcoming upcoming first round games. Well, that'll do us do it for us tonight. Uh, again, a, a very outstanding game, but Oostberg came out on top. You can see the score there, 63 to 54. Uh, Eric Wiesman was our cameraman on the floor. Richard Bartson was up above us uh, doing a nice job. I'm sure it's a little warm up there. Scott Miloff was in the truck. I'm sure it's not as warm in there. <laughs> but uh, again, thanks for everybody watching for us, and hopefully we'll see you in playoff action. Once again, the final score, 63-54, Oostberg. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.